What's up, Internet? This is Rambling Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Today, we have to do the Cloister of Trials for the Jose Temple. But well, before we do that, let's head back here. Where is it? There we go. There's a chest here with an e a remedy. I thought it was an aether. Okay. Maybe there's an aether in the other room. There's a Mega Phoenix. Where's my ether? Anyways. Hey you. Me? What are you doing back here? You are Yuna's guardian, no? Moroda's heard a curious rumor. I thought you should know. I heard well, isn't that considerate? Seems. seems that summoners have been going out on pilgrimage and just disappearing. It could just be the That's not good. Got them, but not so many so quickly. Sorry I don't know more, but watch your back. Ain't much future for a guardian without a summoner, eh? What? What? What you all talking about? We're talking about doing your job as a guardian. Hey, I'm doing good. Right, big brother? Please be careful. Will do. I guess we'd better watch out for that then. Oh, what? We're leaving. Be right there. See ya. Now can we go into the cloister of the trials? Cloister of trials lies within. Are you prepared? Yes. All right, guardians, at attention. We are ready. All right, let's do it. Okay, first things first. We want to take these two spheres from the sides of the room and put them on this door. Here we have the temple proper. Now the whole goal here is that there's this little uh, symbol on the ground here that's kind of like the symbol for the Jose temple and we want to light up all the different parts of it. For now that means we have to put out that bit. I'm going to take this sphere and put it over here and this sphere and put it over here that activates that little upside down pedestal and we push this pedestal over to the side underneath the upside down one and that uh, supercharges this Jose sphere. So take this and put it in this slot here. And that opens up the door into a pit of lightning. So now I want to take these two spheres. and put them on either side of the pedestal and run over here real quick and step on this shiny bit on the floor and I'll put the pedestal back in the middle of the room and now we want to push it into the lightning
and we can use that to jump across if Titus will ever listen to me. There you go. And we want to examine this pedestal to shove it back a bit. You have to examine it. For some reason you can't just push it like normal pedestals. Anyways, jump back across and step on this again to get our pedestal back. And... Hello? There you go. I want to take these spheres again. And walk all the way back into this room. And that will light up the little wings on the thingy in here. And finally, for the little circle thingy, we want to take this sphere out of that slot and put it in this one. And magically, there is an elevator now. Now that we're up here, we want to... Uh, there's a bunch of pedestals in this room that we want to shove back. There's actually five of them. But the the two on... the ones on the left, far left and the far right are kind of hidden. But they are indeed there. Now, that opens the door the leading upwards to the Chamber of the Faith, but there's also this little line on the floor pointing to this barren wall. What we want to do here is go back down, and we want to examine this little glowy spot on the wall. It's actually a glyph. And in here we find a destruction sphere. Bring that back upstairs. Put it on the pedestal here. And it reveals a treasure chest. And we get a magic sphere. Anyways, now that that's done, let's head on up to the Chamber of the Faith. Stop pacing around. Be calm and wait. Isn't there supposed to be, like, another chamber that she has to go into? Oh. There we go. Well, well, you again. Still traveling. Isn't it, like, one summoner at a time? What is it, Bartello? You know this riffraff? You are... are it, no? What of it? Can I shake your hand? Arin. No, Sir Arin. Your I thought he was riffraff. I a guardian. Thank you, sir. This Always the inspiration. Me. Calling the personal guardian the Lord Braska Riprap? And you call yourself a summoner? Bartello, you not get back here. Hang in there, buddy. Hey. Eh? 
You should try to settle down. Yuna will be blamed if anything happens. What's gonna happen if I'm just running around? Next spot. Shut up. Wait. I liked you better when you were quiet. Quite the show, yeah? Not so good on the heart though. A little jumpy waka. Stop pacing around, I swear, I'll never wash this hand again. Please touch me with that hand and I'll remove it. Okay then. Now if we try and exit the premises. That's Yuna's cue to be done. You owe much to your father. All these guardians. And Sir Oren too. And I hear Maester Seymour's quite taken with you. Are you the jealous? It's not my fault I'm popular. This has nothing to do with my father. I am traveling on my own. As a full-fledged summoner. Well, on your own, oh, plus like eight billion guardians. What the heck is Titus doing in the background there? Legs for once. You can only see him for like a couple seconds, but it looked like he was dancing or something. And we get Ixion, the lightning. Thunder horse thingy. And. Well, let's examine the save sphere for one thing. But now that the. We've finished with the uh, temple there, we can walk in here and open this chest. And we get the switch hitter. Which. Is that better than this one? It is, in fact, identical. No matter how dark the night, morning always comes. And our journey begins anew. Okay. We're leaving once Yuna gets here. Donna has left. Isaru, too. You're gonna leave us behind. Get ready for the journey ahead. Don't tell me I have to go and to leave We're again. Once Yuna gets here. Well, I wish you would hurry up. Yuna! Where are you, Yuna? She was working until dawn. Healing the wounded. Sending the fallen. Okay. I guess I'll just let her sleep for now then. <sighs> or not. Ah. Morning. What? Morning? Don't worry. But it's morning. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I I'll get ready right away. Just a moment. <sighs> oh. oh. She's in quite it's a hurry. Okay. Yo, sleepy head. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Really, there's no rush here. Your hair. Uh, what's wrong with that? A summoner with bad hair. What's the world coming to? You could have woken me up. Uh, we called to you, but with all that snoring. Uh, oh. mm. What is it today? Everyone's picking on me. <laughs> <laughs> Even Orin. Oh, you too, Sir Orin? Once Lady Yuna fixes her hair, we leave. <laughs> I hadn't really laughed like that in a long time. It was only later that I realized. The only one really laughing then was me. Laughing must have been the only thing keeping them going. 
And with that, we're going to leave it here for today on Let's Play Final Fantasy X. What awaits us on the next leg of our journey? Tune in next time to find out. Catch you later.